Foxhalla fam, I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Foxhalla Kitchen. This week I'm super excited about as I'm going to show you how to make chicken cacciatore stromboli. This recipe is simple, quick, and more fun than a barrel of monkeys. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. To start the dough for our recipe is actually the same recipe as our Philly steak pizza recipe. If you watch that here in the past, we're going to go ahead and start off with a packet of fast acting yeast. To that we're going to add three, three quarter of a cup of hot water at roughly about 130 degrees and just make sure the yeast is good and dissolved. Roughly about five minutes wait time and then we'll proceed to the next step. So our yeast is dissolved to that we're going to add two cups of flour get all that out of there a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt and we're go ahead and mix this time we get to use our trusty dough hook here so here we go Alrighty, now that our dough is ready to go here, we're going to set it aside here for a little bit, give it a chance to rise, and while we're doing that, we're going to prep our vegetables and our chicken. To start things off for our stromboli, we're going to go ahead and take a small pepper. I use two small ones just to give it a little bit of color and a small onion and we're going to saute it here just get it soft and it looks pretty cool whenever you add it into the stromboli then and now that our veggies are softened we're going to saute some mushroom and then we're also going to cook some chicken now we're going to take some mushrooms and go ahead and saute them down all spread out here okay now that our mushrooms are soft and cooked down here we're gonna put these aside and we're gonna proceed to cook our chicken next now that we've got our mushrooms and vegetables cooked off we're gonna go ahead and cook off our chicken here now I already already Marinate this chicken in Italian dressing overnight to give it a little bit of marinade to it. So we're just going to go ahead and cook these off now. Okie doke, now that our chicken is cooked the whole way through, we're going to take these off and cut them into smaller chunks and then get ready to as assemble our stromboli. Now let's get to assembling our stromboli. We're going to go ahead and take our dough that's been sitting here. Get it. Stretched out here. Into the bottom half of the stromboli here, now that we've got our dough stretched out, we're going to put our chicken. Try and get as much chicken as you can in here. To that, we're going to add our peppers and our onions. This is what I was talking about with the two different colors of onions. It's just going to make everything pop and stand out here. Then lastly, we're going to add our mushrooms that we sauteed. And we're also going to add some cheese, some good old mozzarella here. And if you think back to our pizza video, we're going to do our own red sauce, which I show you how to make that in the pizza video. You 
you put a little bit in there and then also on the side too to if you want to dip this in you can fold it over like this making sure to keep everything tucked in otherwise you're going to have stuff coming out all over the place and we don't want that get everything nice and sealed here and then we're going to go ahead and get it ready for the oven since the oven is preheated at 450 degrees and you're going to bake it till it's nice and golden brown on top here Now it's time for everybody's favorite part, the taste test. So here we go. So, so good. You guys are going to love this. Enjoy. Wrapping up today, I want to encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. But before I go, just remember, good times and good food on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. See you soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.